Hi, it's Kelly here, and Winged asked me to make a video showing him how to make uh, the uh, Cartfield Energy Energizer machines. And so I'm going to give you some examples. Uh, most of my stuff, or all of it, is pretty much secured, taped down, because, for example, it's on this plastic four-level table, and the vibration of the rotation makes it move around. So I taped them down. Uh, so, but in any case, I made it difficult to get them off to show you what they look like. But I think I can give you an idea of what they look like. If, uh, just give me a moment here. All right, this is a, an example of a four-inch vertical fan. And uh, you can put, for example, I put a cup on here. You might want to have a shorter cup. But then you can put jewelry in it. You can put gold, silver, platinum, pearls, uh, whatever you've got. You can put that in there. You can even put organite in it. You can also glue this on there using super glue, you know, before you glue it up, uh, the cup on, and uh, put that on, on there and glue it on. As an example, you might do more than one. If you have more than one, put them back to back. And, and so those are some examples of how you can do it. You could also, this is a piece of organite, a disc, and you could take, you could take this organite and, and put it on here. This is a multi-wave oscillator design. This, uh, these concentric rings that you're seeing that are open on one end. So you could glue the two of them on there if you wanted to, like that. Just simple. You don't have to have everything. You can, you know, you get one and then you get, you know, you can add to it later on. So uh, I'll give you the link for where you can get these. And it's real simple to take apart, take the screen off, and then put on there what you need. Um, when you when you put these things together, glue everything together that you want that's stationary, and then glue on glue it onto the Central piece here because you know, this moves around. You want to get it just right. You don't want to have that thing moving around every time you try to add something to it. So those are some examples. So let me show you some more. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this design is called a multi-wave oscillator, MWO multi-wave oscillator. And uh, if you look on Etsy for MWO or multi-wave oscillator. It should take you to Applicum, and you can get them there. He makes them. He has a 3D printer, and he makes them. Uh, here's some more examples. Uh, like you can see, with a, I've got an energizer running in the background there. Here's one stationary, and I hope you can see the design on it. It's swirly designs on the on those outer circles. That's called a vortex, designed by Patrick Flanagan. Uh, and then you can see in the center it has the multi-wave oscillator design here. I mean, where, where are they? Here. And then here I have a pyramid glued on, on there as well, using super glue. Um, you just turn it on let it run. That's all there is to it. It's real simple. And, uh, oh, let me show you uh, tensor rings. The example that I have is actually four tensor rings together in the shape of a globe, but you don't need to do that. You could just get a tensor ring, four tensor rings, maybe three of different sizes, and put them on a record player. Uh, all right, so here's here they are in the shape of a globe. And you notice that the wire is twisted. That makes it stronger, makes it more powerful. This particular one has another big fat a tensor ring at the bottom, and it also has an AccuVac uh, coil here in the center that I have, that I have bent because I want it to poke, poke out sideways. And it's also stronger. If you put a curve in it, it makes it stronger. And uh, so you make it real simple. Uh, you put you glue them onto the, the, the vertical fans. You can, it, it, oh, the plates here, did, did I mention this? Tell him that you want it designed with a 3 8 inch hole in the center. And with the, you leave the blade on because uh, that makes it perfect for holding everything uh, snugly. 
and uh, you just let it go. Uh, so you get three eighths inch hole. I get them from a guy named uh, Philip. His screen name's Applicum, and uh, he he um, has a three D printer, so he can make them without without a middleman. You're buying them directly from him. And uh, he's got some interesting stuff. So you can get different sizes, like the, the, the tabletop fan, those were 8 inches. And then the other ones were 4 inches. Um, you, can get, you can get this with gold plating on it, which is really cool. And that helps with ner the nervous system and the brain and coordination. So that's really, really valuable. It's just a few bucks more. And... Um, Let's see. Did I show you? I don't think I sh did. I show you this. I'm not sure if I did. This is a huge one. You don't need one this big. But notice it's twisted. You can get smaller ones for like thirty-five, forty-five dollars. But put them on things where they can be rotated or, or uh, spinning. Um, and uh, there's just any number of ways you can do this. There's one guy who has them on windmills outside his house. Um, different, you know, have. The tabletop fans, the standing fans, and the vertical fans, they all work. And you just have to figure it out. You know, on a fan, you want to use super glue because you want it to hold and you want to, you want to let that dry for several hours to fully cure it. And, uh, and away you go. Well, you take care and God bless.